Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Hugin and open source software to get full price updates to your mobile phone as push notifications. So what I'm trying to do here is, is to get uh, full prices from gas stations closer to me as well as I want the price to be less than the threshold I define and I need them as push notifications. So if you're like me and living in NSW, you can, you can get the full price update from Service NSW website. So if you go to the website, you can provide a location, your suburb that you want to get full prices and you can select the type of the fuel that you're interested. Of course, you can select a brand. So if I do a search and it is asking for my location and you can see the fuel prices closer to my location. So it will provide the distance as well as the fuel prices from the cheapest to the most expensive one. But the problem with this website is that I might be driving to a different direction as well as I'm a lazy person. I don't want to check this price when I just about to leave the house. So I thought it will be a good idea if I can get the same information pushed to my mobile based on the criteria I define. For example, in this problem statement, what I'm saying is I'm only interested in four prices less than the price I define as well as the station should be less than the uh, distance that I've defined. So as I said, Hakin is an open source software which is similar to a popular IFTTT and uh, the difference between Hakin and if this then that is both can be used to automate things but Hagen is completely open source and you can uh, host it in your local environment. For example, I am running Hagen in my local uh, network and all the information and the data I provide to Hagen is secure because it's I have the total control of the software. So if I go back to the workflow that I'm going to do today or demonstrate today, so we have service NSW website. Um, Hakin is, uh, has defined a workflow and in that workflow, I'm making a call to this website and get all the full prices as events. And then I filter those events based on the criteria I define and then I'm going to push them into my mobile phone. So if I go to Hakin in my local environment, so if I log in, Um, I have defined workflows as I told you. So there is a concept called scenarios in Hugging, like scenario is just a grouping of agents, like this a scenario defined a workflow. So in service in SW4 price check, I have the, the first agent, which is doing the call to the service in SW website and get the data as a bunch of events. So in my first agent, it's a website agent. It's a, it's a get executed every one hour. What it does is it's make a call to the service NSW API. And it gets the data to the agent. So for example, if I, uh, if I go to this API endpoint, I get a bunch of data. If I select some, and reformat it. Yes. All right. I think probably we need to select everything. If I copy all.
you can see there is a collection of service stations and fuel prices we have bunch of service stations data here as JSONs and it defines what the location is as well as what the price is for the given fuel type as well as um, it defined various uh, fuel prices as a collection so but this this JSON structure contains so much of information that I am not interested in so what I'm doing in Hagen in my first station is I make the call I create events and for those events I extract only the information that I am interested in for example in this case I'm extracting name I'm address brand distance price and the full type so we can see those events here um, this is one of those events so once we make that call we create a bunch of events like this so in the second stage if we go back the second stage is another agent which is doing the filtering we are running the JQ agent here so all the events that I receive from the service NSW website I'm create I'm filtering them based on the criteria I have defined I'm only interested in fuel stations closer to 10 kilometers here I'm filtering based on the distance less than 10 as well as price is less than 175 cents so in this Asian filters only the events matching this filtering criteria for example if you go to events you will see events like this so this is a station very closer to me distance is just 0.55 kilometers and the price is 165 less than 175 which I define so the final stage is to send these events to as push notifications to my mobile phone so for that I'm using the third agent and this agent push the events and to my mobile phone after applying a formatting so here I'm going to show you an update or a push notification that I just received from hugging to my mobile so as you can see I have a push notification from the the hugging and uh, it is showing me the fuel station based on the criteria that I have selected so if I go to this notification I'm getting the location where the fuel station is located address as well as I am also providing the location as a link so whenever I'm driving I can put that location uh, and add it into my journey for example if I'm going to let's say Hornsby it's a matter of putting that into your journey so likewise this application has been running for more than uh, five months now I'm consistently receiving updates to my mobile phone as push notifications like this